In this video, I'll be giving you my honest physical therapist review about the Shock Doctor Tennis Elbow Brace. I'm gonna show you the features of this. It's a pretty simple, straightforward brace. It doesn't open all the way. It's like a, a sleeve or a band. It's got a Velcro strap that you wrap around to increase the tightness of it. And then on the inside, we've got these little gel pads. You've got two of them, one on each side, because this brace doubles as a golfer's elbow brace too. Tennis elbow is just pain on the outside part of the elbow, while golfer's elbow is pain on the inside part of the elbow. So this kind of treats both at the same time. Let me show you how to use this tennis elbow brace. You're going to slide it onto your wrist, of course. There isn't really an up or down. I usually just go with the tag. So wherever the tag is, put that up. And you want to align one of these pads with where your pain is. Tennis elbow usually happens right there at that spot. People can usually point to a spot where it hurts. So you just slide the brace on. It's nice and elastic-y. And that's about the spot where people would get tennis elbow. Thankfully, I don't have it today. So just make sure you get rid of all the, the, the bumps and folds in the brace. Then you're gonna get the strap on and cinch it down or tighten it to the, the level of comfort that you're okay with. Because you can tighten this too much and create you know, a tourniquet type effect where your hand goes numb. So you wanna adjust it if you feel like that's the case, loosen the brace. And one thing I didn't mention is these braces are sized. So before you purchase one, if you decide to get one, you do need to measure around your arm and there's different measurements here. There's on the back of the box, I'll show you, there's an extra small, small, medium, large, and an XL. And there's a little system, a range in inches and centimeters for you to figure out which size you are. I'm a large, that's what I'm wearing right now. Then you would wear this brace as long as it provides you some relief. Some people will wear this during the day only, some people wear it at night and during the day. Some people just take it off and on as they feel like they need to. It's really up to you. There's no specific protocol or way to do this. You have to go by it if you feel results from it or not, if you feel like it's actually relieving your pain. And it, for most people, it doesn't take it away completely. It just reduces the pain. For some, it's very effective in reducing the pain quite a bit. In very few, it will actually get rid of the pain, but only temporarily. But for most people, it, it takes the edge off. Just helping you to set expectations when we're in the brace because it, it doesn't usually fix the problem 100%. Now let me tell you some pros about this tennis elbow brace. It is very snug. Now I feel like I'm, I'm a large by measurement and it's, it's pretty snug, but it feels appropriately snug. Even without the, the Velcro strap on, this is another pro, the Velcro is super strong which I like, so I hate it when Velcro stuff falls off and it just feels useless. But even without the Velcro strap on, it feels pretty snug. So I feel like I'm starting at a good amount of tension already and I can, it doesn't take me much more to tighten it and add more tension. The Velcro, like I said, is fantastic. And these little gel pads, they're super soft. I, I love how they feel. If you get the brace, you can, they're just squishy. They feel very comfortable on your skin. They're covered in this material that just makes it very soft. So you're not getting that gel that's gonna pull your hair or rub your skin inappropriately. Now the only con I could think of with this is you have to hand wash this and air dry it. You have to hang it up to dry it. You can't stick it in the washing machine with a load of laundry or put it in the dryer, probably because of the gel pads. But now for my honest physical therapist opinion, I think this thing is fantastic at getting you some natural pain relief so that you can avoid or possibly reduce at least taking pain medications if you have been for your tennis elbow problem. It's super easy to use. It's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's giving you some pressure, but if you, if you feel like it's too uncomfortable, you can loosen the Velcro, you can take it off and put it back on when you feel like you need it again. I think this is highly underutilized in people that have tennis elbow. I've seen so many people go through tennis elbow problems, never ever wearing a brace because sometimes they're told that they're ineffective or that they're not fixing the root problem, which is accurate, but it can help take the edge off and make your day a little bit easier. For the cost of this, which it comes in at around $20 or so, I think it's pretty well worth it. Now do understand that solving a tennis elbow problem for the long term requires you fixing the muscle imbalance. And that means you need to get the grip muscles stronger. The muscles that close your hand to create a grip are on this part of the arm, they go towards the inner part of the elbow, and the muscles that open your hand and extend your wrist 
are over here and they go over where the tennis elbow problem happens. The imbalance is when these grip muscles tend to get weaker, relatively weaker, and then the extensor muscles are relatively stronger. This brace is not strengthening those muscles, so it's not going to fix the root problem and give you long-term relief. You've got to go strengthen those grip muscles. Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give us a thumbs up. This channel is dedicated to helping people stay healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding unnecessary injections, medications, and surgery. We make videos with healthy tips, advice, exercises, and stretches for a variety of conditions that you can find in our playlists. Go check that out to get more help. And please consider subscribing and turning on our notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our helpful videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.